Well, good morning, East Texas. First alert, live Doppler radar on this hump day. Starting off with scattered showers and storms, strong storms, but nothing severe. And that's the good news. Lots of heavy rain, lots of lightning, and lots of torrential downpours. So keep that in mind, along with some small P to dime sized hail as well with some of these storms. Douglasville to Linden down that 59 corridor towards Jefferson, seeing some moderate to heavy rainfall. Notice how this is kind of bowing out as well, just kind of extending out. Those are some strong winds gusting out ahead of the storm. 40 to 50 miles per hour. So it could be some uh, very gusty winds crossing through Linden now. This will be making its way towards Atlanta basically within the next few seconds or so and then heading towards Marshall as we go throughout the morning. So kids heading to the bus stop need to be prepared for strong gusty winds and lots of heavy rain. Overton, New Summerfield, Jacksonville. Jacksonville right now, the heart of some very heavy rainfall, lots of lightning here, as well as you cross through downtown Jacksonville along 69, traveling south down towards Rust there. You're going to run into some very heavy rainfall, and that will make its way into the Alto community coming up as well soon. Here's a look at the track on that. Dotson within the next 40 minutes, but folks, you folks in Laneville, be prepared now for the rain to make its way in the next 5 to 10 minutes. Pine Hill within the next 20 minutes or so. We expand the view out. I want to show you back here towards the west. Notice all the moderate rainfall near the Dallas area, stretching back towards the Metroplex, and more showers scattered developing here to the west. That means we'll see this training over the area through the morning. So we're not going to be done in the next hour or so. I think we'll see off and on scattered showers and storms continuing through about midday, and then this whole activity will begin to kind of shift off towards the east and southeast. I think we'll see some clearing skies, at least a few peaks of sunshine this afternoon with mainly dry weather. Enjoy it this evening and overnight because another round, one final round, will make its way in as we go throughout our Thursday. We start off dry, but here comes a cold front. Notice storms lining up to our north and west, 9 a.m. or so in the morning tomorrow, and they will make their way in around the midday time frame. Showers and thunderstorms, another cluster, making its way through East Texas ahead of that cold front. And then once the cold front clears the area, then I think we can finally clear things out and dry things out. But not before an additional one inch on average but some places seeing closer to two inches. That's why the flash flood watch was reissued for central and eastern sections of the area. That goes now until Thursday afternoon for the potential of several more inches of rain that could lead to some isolated flash flooding. Your first alert seven day forecast. Again, showers and storms for the first half of the day. A few peaks of sunshine by this afternoon and then another round of showers and storms. So be alert for that on your Thursday. After that, though, we dry things out for Friday and Saturday. Upper level disturbance may bring us a few storms on Sunday. We'll keep an eye on that. And back into the 80s. Yeah, you like that, yeah. don't you? Just get close to springtime. We are, but we shouldn't forget, you know, these storms that are coming. We can mm -hmm. download the First Alert weather app. It's free. Mm -hmm. Great tool to have for your hands. Yeah, and you can go street level mapping right. on the radar at the palm of your hand, wherever you are. Track that storm right to your house. That's right. Thank you, Cedric.